Hi, hello there. I am Ramona J. Smith here to speak to you about public speaking. Yes, yes, did I rub you the wrong way just, just a little bit? I know, it's kind of touchy for some people. For, oh, I'm a little shiny. But for some people, public speaking is like, eh, you know, it's no big deal. I do it all the time. I, I, I'm I, okay at it or I'm, I'm pretty good at it. To so some people, it is like, no, never. Don't want to, don't need to, don't have to, not gonna. <laughs> so I'm not sure where you fall into those categories. But for me, it's my passion. It's my love. I am Ramona J. Smith, world champion public speaker. And I would love for you to subscribe to this channel and i would love for you to watch some of my previous videos so you can get a better understanding of who i am and what we talk about here i am still in the early stages of my youtube channel so we can only upgrade from here but i want you to continue to bear with me be patient with me be gentle with me because i'd rather start from the bottom and work my way up then never start and live with regrets or be the person whose new year's resolution is to start that youtube channel finally start that youtube channel channel finally and they never do so i'd rather start where i am and work my way up than to never start at all today i want to talk a little bit about my speech still standing that was the speech that uh gave me that win that title in 2018 as the world champion of public speaking with Toastmasters International. I chose the speech still standing. If there are any Elton John fans out there, you know that he has a song called I'm Still Standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just loved the message of still standing, of staying in the ring. And I wanted to, well, well, I, I just got the idea of boxing because on the international stage, there are people from all over the world. And I didn't wanna do basketball because that's really, it's really, really popular in America. I, of course I didn't wanna do football because football could be soccer depending on where you are. And I didn't wanna do soccer because I just, I just didn't feel like it was a good thing for me to do on the stage. So I, I chose boxing because pretty much everywhere you go in the world, when you do this, <laughs> you know, it's either time to duck or, 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 or throw a jab or a hook or a punch. And so that's why I chose that theme. And also because life is like a boxing match. Life can sometimes knock you down. There are different rounds that you go through, but at the end, you have to have that resilience and you have to have the, 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 the energy and the power and the mindset to keep getting up no matter how many times you get knocked down. So just the similarities between life and, and, and a boxing match, I just, I just loved it because sometimes life just keeps coming at you with blows and it's just like, oh my goodness, no matter how much you train, sometimes you get the wrong blow, you're gonna cave or, or your knees are gonna buckle or you're gonna get dazed. And it's the same thing with life, no matter how many books you read, no matter how many seminars you go to, no matter how many hours you do with a, a life coach or an accountability coach, sometimes life just delivers devastating blows. And it's not about the fall, it's about how you get back up. And that is really all about, that was what my speech was all about. So I talked about three different rounds. And if possible, I'll link it up here somewhere <laughs> so that you could go ahead and check it out. But um, so I had broken up the speech into three sections or three parts because usually with a, a simple speech, you wanna just have three main points, especially in a, a five to seven minute speech. If you have too many points, you're either gonna go over time or you're going to be, you're gonna have way too much information for the audience to be able to digest properly. And the message is gonna be lost in all these different main points. So that's why I chose main points. Three, and it's just something about the power of three that just resonates with people in general. So I chose three rounds, three boxing matches that I, that I had with life. The first one was college. Now for me, college was not something that i was interested in right out of high school i mean i went because everybody else was going but then when i got there it was like why am i here what am i doing here and i went through that a few times at a few different schools and i ended up dropping out of college four times like four times before i finally figured it out and so i talked about dropping out of college four times that was round one round two was 
I believe round two was marriage. Yeah. No, round two was uh, <laughs> Toastmasters. <laughs> yes, yeah, so round two I talked about, um, dang, but hold on, because now I'm, I haven't watched a speech in so long. I don't want to get this wrong. Round two, marriage. Round three, speak. Yeah, 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 round two was marriage because round three was speaking. Yes, 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 yes. So round two was marriage. I talked about, y'all know I'm married now, and I just got married this year in 2022 on Cinco de Mayo and this is my second marriage so my first marriage did not even last a year y'all it didn't last a year and I was man that's another video <laughs> but the second round was about marriage and the third round was about speaking because I'm very passionate about speaking but when I first started competing I would I would lose like I never made it to the world championship stage before so I talked about these three rounds in my life with life that I, w I was in the ring boxing back and forth and at first in every single round I was down I was losing I was down for the count I wanted to throw in the towel a couple of times but then Metaphorically speaking, I went back to my coach in the corner. Shout out to Margaret Bernstein, who is my coach, my mentor, a woman that I look up to. I want to be here when I grow up. Um, so I went back to my coach in the corner. And you know how you hear it if you ever seen a boxing, boxing match. They patching up your nose and they patching up the, the bleeding and they putting pressure on everything, putting Vaseline on you, putting all stuff, giving you the water and things like that. So <laughs> that was kind of how Margaret helped me. She saw that I, I was need needing some help and needing some support and she gave me resources and she gave me tools and then she said, get back in there. And so I got back in there and eventually because of Margaret, I was able to finally go back to school and finish strong. At this point I had, when I graduated, my son was five. And so I graduated college at age 30 with my five-year-old son with me every step of the way. And I graduated magna cum laude from one of the top institutions in the Midwest. Shout out to Baldwin Wallace University. Yes, go Yellow Jackets. So that's kind of how round, round one uh, ended up playing out. I ended up winning that round. And then for a uh, round, I, I skipped uh, round two and I went to round three. I talked about speaking and it was just like this amazing moment in time because speaking is my passion. Speaking is something that I love and to be on the world championship stage telling my story in front of thousands of people, I was like, this is a moment. Yes, like <laughs> it was a moment. Everybody was clapping and things like that. And then I went back to round two when I talked about marriage. And at that time, I was still searching for love. And I was, so I was still kind of in the ring on that one, going back and forth. So I just talked about how, you know, I, I'm still in training. <laughs> that was a funny part of the speech, but, you know, still being in training. And it all just came together. It all just came together beautifully magically lovely and i think the thing in 2018 that gave me the competitive edge was that i was really up there having fun i mean of course i was up there to compete but i was up there just telling my story and, and having a great time and i was able to to capture the audience and uh, engage with the audience and they just they was they, they just they showed me love the energy was mutual like i was feeding off their energy, they were feeding off my energy, and it was just something different that nobody was expecting. I'm not gonna say that not necessarily it was something that they had never seen before, but it was something that people weren't expecting a, a girl to come out there in a boxing pose with some heels. <laughs> it was just something different, something out of the ordinary, and I definitely feel like that's what helped me take it in 2018. So it was very simple. Like I said, I like to make public speaking very simple. I didn't have any, I mean, I used different techniques, but it was nothing that I stressed over. It was nothing that I was like, okay, well, in my mind, I got to do the calculations and I got to do this, 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 and that. And that comes a little bit from, from natural talent. But because I had to put in the work, I had to practice, but it wasn't like I had to really get extremely technical and 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 take things piece by piece and and write everything out in detail. And it was not like a strenuous, meticulous process. It was like, I went to sleep, I woke up, I had the idea. I, I remember standing in my cousin's living room doing this because the idea had, come, had came to me. I wrote out the speech and then I, I edited it and, and then I choreographed it and then I practiced it. And it was really just that simple for me. It's, it was really not that 
hard. It wasn't rocket science. It wasn't engineering. And that's where a lot of uh, speakers kind of get, they get lost because they try to do too much. Like all you have to do is get on that stage and tell your story. That is all you have to do. You have to have it in organized and structured and you have to prepare. That means practice and rehearse, but it does not have to be some scientific project and it, it doesn't have to be that serious. Like just have some fun depending on the situation. Now, of course, if it's uh, something that's research driven or, you know, something that's detrimental and, and uh, to people's intelligence. And uh, of course, you know, you can't have fun in that situation a little bit, but if it's a more serious uh, situation where you're informing people, okay, fine. But in situations where you are just there to speak and share your story, have fun, smile, be natural, wear something cute that's going to make you feel handsome or beautiful. Don't take it so hard. Do not take it so hard unless it's like a business pitch for a million dollars or something like that. So like I said, it really depends on the engagement type. But in this case, you know, competitive speaking for me it is just all about going in there, being prepared, being ready, sharing your story and having some fun. If you would like to work with me, you can contact me on my website, RamonaJSmith.com. Follow me on Instagram at RamonaJSmith, the number one, RamonaJSmith1. Or you can send me an email, contact RamonaJSmith at gmail.com. I would love to work with you and help you sharpen and improve your public speaking skills so that you can remain still standing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.